friends and families how are you all doing happy sunday to you all it's your girl estelle and i hope you're all doing good so friends and families i'm back again this week with a new video and a new recipe to share with you all yes 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 guys so i've got three recipes to share with you all guys and uh, the video of today is recommended by a friend of mine from youtube here his name i think is purple plant and uh, the recipe is called gore it's basically a steam cooked food from burkina faso and uh, it's really delicious very simple to make it and uh, as always guys i'm pretty sure if you guys watch the video till the end you would love this recipe and you may want to give it a try so my friends without further ado let me show you how to make it so friends and families i'm going to start by showing to you the first part of today's recipe and here in my bowl i've got baby spinach which i have blended to a coarse texture and uh, these are how the leaves looks like normally for this part of the recipe you're supposed to use beans leaves for this recipe but because i don't have the beans leaves i'm replacing this with baby spinach and the next ingredient is some maize powder and this is the maize which I've got it in my local African shop that is how the packs looks like in case you want to check it out and to that I would be adding a blended peanut or granite should I say it and I've blended it this myself to a coarse texture and these are the type of peanut I've using prior to achieving the blended peanut. And next into my bowl, I've got some baking soda, which I have added water to it. So next, it's time to start forming our gore. And I'm going to transfer the blended spinach to a bowl. And then after transferring it to the bowl, I'm going to follow up by adding my baking soda, which I have diluted it. And then after adding the baking soda next i will be adding my blended peanut powder and i will give it a mix until it's well mixed and once it's well mixed i will follow up by adding the maize powder and this part be careful just add little by little until you achieve the consistent texture and here I would now use my hand to make sure I mix it well at the same time feel the texture and once I finish mixing and everything is well mixed it would be time to start forming the shapes and this is something you can form any type of shape you want you could make it round shape or any type of shape you want and that's my first demonstration and I'm going to put that aside and I carry on forming the same shape until everything is done. This is a recipe in my local language is also called Bengdo and Bengdo is simply the name of the bean sleeves. Uh, in some parts of Burkina they also call it Gori. So now that I've finished with the first part next is my second recipe which I'm going to share with you as well and here in my bowl I've got some peeled beans which I've blended into a smooth texture and this is how the package looks like or the jar should I say I'm pretty sure you will find this in your local African shop and next I've got some vegetables and seasoning which I'm going to add to my blended beans and they are a portion of fresh parsley a portion of chopped spring onions some nor seasoning a small portion of ginger three garlic cloves and uh, I've got some red bell pepper and green bell peppers which I've chopped into a chunky shapes <laughs> and I'm going to add all this into my jar followed by blending it to a smooth texture And once I finish blending it, I'm going to transfer it into our blended beans. Followed by giving it a good mix until everything is well mixed. Then I will give it a taste to make sure the salt level 
taste into my desired taste and uh, once I achieve the desired taste I'm going to basically steam our gore you could use any type of small bowls from different shape for this or you can use an ice cube tray for this and uh, all depend of the shapes you want I'm going to use a square eye slowly tray for this <laughs> I'm going to fill this up until I reach the desired level and once I finish achieving the desired level next I will be adding the other gore which is known in my language as bingdo and voila this is how it looks like and uh, next to steam this you would need a cooking pot followed by adding some water into the pot next it would be time to put your steamer on top and for a rapid result you may wish to cover it using a foil and then after covering using the foil you would follow up by adding the main cover and this part is basically to cook until it's cooked normally it takes between 20 to 30 minutes to get it to cook depending of the amount of gore you have in your steamer okay guys while the gore is cooking i'm going to show you a quick sauce to go along with our gore and uh, next in my cooking pan I'm going to add some oil and once the oil reaches temperature I will follow up by adding a grated garlic and ginger and I'll give it a mix until it's well mixed and begin to caramelize and once it begins to caramelize I'm going to follow up by adding some grated fresh tomatoes and I will give it a mix and once my tomatoes is well mixed and begin to soften I'm going to follow up by adding some grated white onions and I'll give it a mix and after mixing it I'm going to add a tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning and uh, I'll be listing all these ingredients with the right amount for you guys at the end of this video so you can follow up and make yours at home once it's well mixed I will let it cook for about one minute and after one minute I'm going to follow up by adding roughly a tablespoon of blended red scott bonnet peppers and then i will give it a mix and after mixing it i'm going to follow up by adding some crushed nor seasoning give it a mix and i will let it cook until it's fully cooked okay guys it's time to check our pepper sauce and at this stage my pepper sauce is cooked and i'm going to take some which i will be using for our third and last recipe all right friends and family this is my third and last recipe and here i'm going to show you how to use the pepper sauce i made earlier on to make some roast or baked fish to go along with the gore and uh, the pepper sauce i'm showing to you guys right now is the pepper sauce i removed earlier on and uh, next i'm going to add a tablespoon of shrimp powder or you could call it grey fish powder and then i will give it a good mix until it's well mixed and once it's well mixed i will then use it to marinate the fish until everything is well coated and once it's well coated next it will be time to place it into my grill tray then basically take it to the oven and grill it until it's fully grilled and once it's fully grilled it should look like this guys and at that point everything is done ready to eat guys and uh, next is time to check our gore okay friends and families now that I have finished with the fish and everything is cooked it's time to check our gore and as you guys can see it's well steamed and cooked mm. <laughs> so it's time to proceed to serving all right friends and families i hope you've liked today's video and uh, give it a try and see if you like it leave me a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about today's recipe also if you've liked today's recipe please do not forget to give me a like and also don't forget to share the video with your friends and families 
and uh, if you are new to my channel and if this is your first time watching my video thank you so so much for tuning up and please don't forget to subscribe like the video and also share the video with your friends and families all right friends and families until then i will catch up with you in my next video bye all